Water security for every sector. Seven prelims down. This is the final one. After today, we'll have all eight quarterfinalists. But you're eager to see who moves forward. Today, the final battle is on. Good afternoon and welcome to WASA's National Secondary Schools Quiz on the water sector, in the know with H2O. I'm your host, Vernon Ramasar, and I'm thrilled that you're here with us yet again. After today, we'll enter the new realm, finding the final qualifier in less than 30 minutes. Are you ready to see who has what it takes to progress? Well, before we get to that point, there are some fundamental issues that need to be addressed. First and foremost, how does the competition work? Pay close attention because these are the rules. During rounds one to four, students are restricted from communicating with each other. During round five, students can collaborate. For rounds one to four, student one will answer question one alone, student two answer question two, and so on. If any other student is found answering another's question, the student will be disqualified. Round 5 offers team questions, and hence, the answer can be discussed. 100 points are awarded to all correct answers. Zero points will be awarded if the answer is incorrect. If the answer is partially correct, the judges will decide to appoint any portion of 100 points, or ask for clarification towards awarding the total of 100. Teams can earn a maximum of 2,000 points, that is 20 questions times 100 points. If a team is asked a question and does not answer it correctly, the answer will be handed over to the other team to answer. If the second team answers correctly, they are awarded 50 points, that is half the points. If the answer is unclear, partially correct or requires qualifying, the judges will ask for clarification and award marks according to their collective decisions. Questions for the quiz will fall under five categories, which are History of Wasa and Water, Water Facts, Conservation and Watershed Management, Water Pollution, Water Treatment, Distribution and Transmission, and Wasa's Dry Season Plan for 2011. And of course, the judge's decision is final. You're probably curious to know who the judges are, all employees of Wasa. Here's our esteemed panel of judges. Head Judge, Joel Young, Distribution and Production Manager. Nerissa Ishmael, Economist, and Sheldon Bauman, Industrial Engineer. It's a challenging task at hand, one that I don't envy at all. But what's the ultimate goal? Well, the successful winning school gets $100,000 cash for their school and other individual prizes. And what's more, the accolade of being the first school to win Wasser's National Secondary Schools quiz competition in the know with H2O. That being said, let's see who's in the running to hold the title in today's show. Let's meet the teams. From Port of Spain and Environs, we have Southeast Port of Spain, and from St. Patrick District, Separia West Secondary. The captain of each team is now being invited to introduce their team members. Our Filoso Hector of South Port of Spain, please introduce us to your team. On our team we have, on our team we have Tanya Wilcher, Shauna Mills, and Ricky L. Mitchell. And Jermal Thomas of Sakaria West. Let's see who your team is. Today we have Alicia, Chantel, and Michaela. Welcome to both teams. <laughs> Stay tuned to see for more on Wasser's National Secondary Schools Quiz in the know with H2O. And welcome back to Wasser's National Secondary Schools Quiz in the know with H2O right here on C. Thanks for staying with us. Teams, before we proceed, here's a recap of the topics. History of Wasser and Water, Water Facts, Conservation and Watershed Management, Water Pollution, Water Treatment, Distribution and Transmission, and the Dry Season Plan 2011. 
Now that you're familiar with the category, there's only one thing left to do. Let the competition begin. We'll kick things off with the history of Wasser and water. This is the first question now for participant one on both teams. What was the production capacity at the Coraline Waterworks after it was rehabilitated in 1994? Three million gallons per day. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> Question two for participant two in both teams. The Hillsborough West Water Treatment Plant was commissioned in what year? Southeast? Um, May 1991. 1991 is correct. <laughs> Question three for participant three on both teams. The Point Water Supply Project was completed in what year? Sapario? 1994. That is incorrect. Southeast? 1991. That is correct. <laughs> and the final question in round one for participant four on both teams. The St. Patrick's Water Supply Project was completed in what year? Sapario? 1994 is correct. 1994. And that was the end of the first round. It's time to add some more points to those totals. Let's head straight into round two, the category Water Facts, Conservation, and Watershed Management. Let's get right into it. Participant one on both teams. Stand by, participant one. According to the study guide, what percentage of the human body is water? Separia. Um, 65%. That is correct. Question two now for participant two on both teams. What percentage of the earth is land and water respectively? What is it 20% is land and 80% is water. That is correct. <laughs> Question three for participant three on both teams. List four elements in gray water that makes it unusable and a health risk. Separia. elements. If it contains like cleaning utensils, like borrow, diapers, do, do you have diapers, bleach, and chem chemicals, who chemicals? Judges? Uh, we'd accept it. That is correct then. <laughs> well done. And question four for participant four on both teams. What percentage of Wasser's water comes from desal plants? Port of Spain. Twelve percent. That is correct. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of round two. Don't go anywhere because after this short break, we'll get the scores. More of Wasser's National Secondary Schools quiz in the know with H2O lies ahead. And welcome back. This is Wasser's National Secondary Schools Quiz in the know with H2O on C. And it's all about the water sector. Let's get things moving with the scores up to now. Southeast Port of Spain, 450 points. <laughs> Separia West Secondary, 300 points. How much have you been able to learn about water over the course of the prelim rounds? Many key elements of the water sector were covered, and there's a lot more to come. Let's get started. Round three begins now, and the focus is on water pollution. Let's go to question one. For participant one on both teams. 
Name two organic water pollutants. Port of Spain. Salt and grits. Judges? That's incorrect. It's a power here, but it's been one. Lead and oil. Judges. Yeah, we'll accept that answer. Okay. <laughs> the answer we have are vegetable oil, car oil, petrochemicals, and pesticides. Participant two in both teams now. Question two. Give an example of an inorganic pollutant and its effects. Separia. So I Time is up. Port of Spain, care to take a stab at it? Okay, so that question, 